Hi, this video is about fixing your paging file error message on Windows 10, 8 and 7 startup. So if you have Windows created a temporary paging file on your computer because of a problem that occurred with your paging file configuration when you started your computer, the total paging file size for all disk drives may be somewhat larger than the size you specified. If you have this message on startup, keep watch this video, otherwise you may exit uh, from this video page. Um, there are exactly two things we need to do to fix this error message on startup. So first thing is to turn off the virtual memory. On Windows 10, there's a this PC icon on desktop and if it's not on your desktop screen you can bring your cursor here on the windows startup button and do a right click click this one file explorer and here there's a this pc do a right click on this pc click properties then you'll see something like this. Now, on the left side menu, let's click Advanced St System Settings. Here, on the Advanced tab, uh, see the performance? Click Settings. And here, if you look at on the top, there's a advanced again click advanced here virtual memory and click change so uncheck this option and click no paging file and don't click ok yet click set and this will give you some kind of warning but it's ok say yes and click ok Click OK and OK. OK, now you can restart your computer and see if the error message is still there on startup. If the error message is still there, now we need to do the second thing. We need to find out the page file.sys file and delete them. So if you go to your this PC again, here, let's go to this PC. In my case, my main drive is drive C. Probably it is C on your computer too, but could be different. D, F, B, any letter can be uh, your system drive. So make sure you go into your system drive. One that says Windows, then that is your main drive. Go to C drive. And in here, there's a page file that sees. But we're, we're not seeing that file right now. It's because the file is hidden. Now we need to uh, make those hidden files visible. To do it, uh, if you look at on the top, there's a view. And here in the end, options, click it. And you'll see something like this. On the top menu, view click this and in the middle here hidden files and folders don't show hidden files folders and drives right below that there's a show hidden files folders and drives click this and after that we need to uncheck one more thing we need to turn off this hide protected operating system files uncheck this and this will give you some warning some kind of warning here say yes apply and ok then there is page file dot sys we also need to after turning off the virtual memory we also need to remove this file so since we have turned off the page files dot sys already let's try to remove this file i'm going to do a, like you can do a delete pre, uh, you can press the delete key on your keyboard to delete 
or you can do a shift delete to remove the file page okay system file remove yes okay it's saying that this is already in use uh, okay I see uh, because after we turning off that virtual memory we didn't restart that's why let me restart the system and see if I can remove that file okay so I did restart the computer and funny thing is the page file.c was removed by itself so in Windows 10 if you have that error message by turning off that virtual memory I, I think you can get rid of that error message but in my experience on Windows 7 I had to remove that file manually but anyways if you have a Windows 7 like older Microsoft Windows you should maybe you have to remove that file manually uh, but on Windows 10 it did automatically that's good thank you for watching and subscribe our channel for more great videos in the future